Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, we are going to be answering the most frequently asked questions while setting up your cold inboxes. Number one is how do we set up a master inbox for receiving all the emails at one place? So if you have created a lot of emails with a similar domain TLDs, then you want to receive all the email at one single place. For example, if I've created multiple variations of Anand at the rate then what I want to do is all the emails that I'm getting for Anand, I want to receive all the emails at one single place. It can be, let's say, Anand at the rate mastergroomyorganic.com. This is the email from which I'll be taking over and I'll be replying to the potential lead who have replied to my cold email. Right. So in that case, what we want to do is we want to set a forwarder and which and this is something which is very easy to do. But there is one additional step that you will have to do in Grow Me Organic as well, which I'm going to show you. So the very first thing is you will have to set a forwarder in order to set a forwarder. You will have to go to your uh, G Suite account. You need to go over there and make sure you're logged in with the right email and then head over to your settings click on see all settings and then open forwarding and pop slash IMAP. This is where you can set a forwarding email address. So all the emails I'm getting over here, I can forward it to Anand at the .com, right? So once you have set up this email, there is one additional step that you will have to do when you are setting up these email accounts inside uh, uh, Gromi organic which is if you go over here for example if i've set up a forwarding email uh, from john at the rate example hub.com to john at the rate groomyorganic.com then what i'll have to do is in the imap section i'll have to put in the imap section i'll have to put john at the rate groomyorganic.com and the password for john at the rate groomyorganic.com in the IMAP section only, we'll have to put the credentials for John at the rate because jo John at the rate is responsible to receive all the emails. All the emails are getting redirected to John at the rate So here, instead of example hub, I need to change this to John at the rate exam And here I'll be putting the app password of John at the rate This you need to do only when you have set a forwarder. The forwarder is from John at the rate example hub.com to John at the rate Romeo organic.com. Only if you are setting up a forwarder to have a master inbox, which is going to be John at the rate Romeo organic.com is when you will have to open the SMTP and you will have to change this because we are going to be tracking the replies that we are getting at john at the rate groomyorganic.com. I hope you're, it is clear to you. If you have any question regarding this, you can drop it down in the description. I'll be happy to help you with this. So now coming back to FAQs, question number two, how do we redirect all our domain traffic to the main website? For example, here you can see we have examplehub.com. So what we want is whenever someone visit this website, examplehub.com, we want to redirect them to gromyorganic.com. The way we do it is through the DNS zone editor of our uh, domain provider. So if you are following along with the video, you might have purchased your domains from Namecheap. If you have purchased your uh, domain from Namecheap, then uh, this is how you are going to set up your redirect for the main domain if you haven't purchased your domain from namecheap you have purchased it from somewhere else this is something similar how you will be setting up a redirect domain so head over to your namecheap account and open the exact domain which is examplehub.com which you can see over here then we'll go to domain and then you scroll down a little bit and here you create add wildcard redirect so that they will always be redirected to gromyorganic.com. So if I create a redirect URL, I will be putting HTTPS www.gromyorganic.com and that's it. Now, whenever I will visit this website, examplehub.com, it is going to redirect me to gromyorganic.com, which you can see over here. I have been redirected to gromyorganic.com. All right. Now, Coming back to FAQs and let's see the question number three. What should we keep as an 
email alias for the inbox so it should always be a real name if you don't have a real the employee working at your company then you better get some fake aliases for example john at the rate romeoorganic.com but do not use alias like support info marketing anything like that because there is a high chance if you're using any of these alias your emails will 100% land in the promotional inbox if you are able to uh, get rid of spam you will definitely land in the promotional inbox so to avoid landing in the promotional inbox try to have a real person name even if it the, even if the person doesn't exist try to hack have some fake alias for example john at the rate and then followed by gromeorganic.com or whatever you are doing how many warm-up emails should we uh, send per day so i would recommend just keep your warm-up emails as 10 emails a day how do we set it up so head over to Gromi organic and if you go to warm up the deliverability just keep this 10 per day that is more than enough it will be sending emails on your behalf on automation to improve your email deliverability for how long do we need to keep the warm-up going on i would say just keep it running as long as you are running the email campaign because sometimes your email might not get the engagement you are expecting so in that case what you want to do is you want to maintain the engagement through this email warm-up system so keep this running for as long as your uh, you know your campaign is running but if your question is after what point we can start sending email to real people then i would say 14 days keep the warm-up running for 14 days and after 14 days is when you will be start sending emails to the real audience but for 14 days just set your emails for warm-up so that you can have a little bit of transaction and people can literally start trusting you do we need to create a different g suite account for each domain yes for each domain that you have purchased, you will have to create a different Google Workspace account. A lot of people ask me whether uh, if we can set all the domains at one Google Workspace account, then it doesn't make sense because all your identities are connected to one Google Workspace account. So what I would suggest is you buy different Google Workspace account for different domains. It is not going to affect your pricing. But highly recommend that you get a different G Suite account for different domain. But if you're not going beyond five domains, then you can keep all your domain inside one Google Workspace account. If you know you don't want to take that extra overhead, then just stick to one Google Workspace account. But if you are exceeding five domains, try to get a different Google Workspace account. And the best practice would always be getting a new G Suite account for all the domains. So one G Suite account for one domain, another G Suite account for another domain. What is the best email provider for sending cold emails? I've already created a video about this topic and I'll put the link of this in the description below so you can watch. But my recommendation would be you can either go for G Suite or Zoho. Zoho and G Suite nearly have the same deliverability, but Zoho is uh, much more affordable as compared to G Suite but at this moment when I'm recording the video Zoho will charge you for a an annual basis it will not charge you on a monthly basis so if you're okay to pay for the entire year then go ahead with Zoho because it has a nearly same deliverability as Google Workspace but if you only want to stick to the monthly pricing model then I would suggest go for G Suite account can I use Gmail for sending cold emails? Definitely. A lot of cold email agency, they buy aged Gmail accounts for sending cold emails, but you need to keep in mind those email accounts should be six month aged. Or if it is brand new, then what you should be doing is keep your email, account, keep your daily sending limit really low, like three to four. This is what I would recommend. So there are guys who sell Gmail accounts and they also sell you the app password with it. So you need to just set the app password inside Romy Organic, connect multiple Gmail accounts and you can use these accounts for sending cold emails. It is going to be much more affordable as compared to G Suite account. But you know, that is completely your choice whether you want to send emails from the professional domain or a Gmail, but both of them have very good deliverability. Although Gmail has a lesser daily sending limit because Gmail is a free email account. So when you're scaling, you might have to purchase even more Gmail accounts 
or you'll you'll have to create more and more gmail accounts for sending a lot of cool emails rather if you don't want to complicate things for yourself then just stick to g suite or zoho for sending cool emails because it will also look professional you will be able to set up custom tracking domain and you will also be able to set up the redirects for um, all the domain to your main website so it's better you stick to g suite account but you know if you want to try something else to scale your cold email outreach or you don't want to completely rely on g suite and zoho inbox then it's a good thing to try out uh, maybe 30% of uh, your budget you can allocate for Gmail as well for sending cold emails. Do we need to set up custom tracking domain for each inbox? No, it is not for each inbox, it is for each domain. So for example, if you have purchased groomyorganic.com and you have created three inboxes with groomyorganic.com, then you just need to set up the custom tracking domain for groomyorganic.com once and you will be using that custom tracking domain for each um, email account that you have connected uh, created with groomyorganic.com so here as you can see if we go to the senders over here and if we go to customize the custom tracking domain here you can see I have created track.examplehub.com now this custom tracking domain I can use it for John at the rate examplehub.com Anand at the rate examplehub.com Gopu at the rate examplehub.com so I just need to create that custom tracking domain for once and I can use it over and over again because the domain is you know basically the same so we don't have to create uh, custom tracking domains over and over over again but yes if you're connecting a new domain then you will have to create a new custom tracking domain over here I want to send 100 emails per day how many domains would I need to purchase so with one domain as I told you you can send 30 emails because one domain you will be creating three inboxes and each inboxes will be sending 10 emails a day so just divide 100 by 30 divide 100 by 30 and you'll get your answer so you will have to purchase around three to four domain to send 100 emails per day now what should be the TLDs for domain we are purchasing for cold email so the TLDs should be either .net, .com or .io. I would not prefer going for XYZ or email or anything like that. Just stick to .com, .net or .io. My topmost priority is always stick to .com and get more variations of your domain like use gromyorganic.com, try gromyorganic.com and multiple variations like that. You might have already seen one of my video where I've showed you the best practice of buying domains so from that you can quickly buy multiple domains with the same tld as com and you know you can make the bulk purchase so that's it for today if you have more questions drop it down in the comment just tell me what what was the question that i forgot to mention over here and i'll answer all the questions in the comment below and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye